Hey guys, welcome back to another video review at Spectre Labs and today we will be taking a look at the KZ ZS5 earphones. The uh, ZS5 was the most advanced earphones that KZ released um, before the ZS6 and it features four uh, drivers, two dynamic drivers and two balanced armatures. So at that time when it was released, it was the most advanced earphones that from KZ. Like the earlier models that were released before the ZS5, it also features detachable wires and the same type of wires as the previous the ZS-T and ZS-3 and it also comes in two variants with a microphone and without a microphone. The one that I have here does not have a microphone so it costs less than the one with a microphone and it also features the same earbuds, the silicon earbuds that the other ZS uh, Zack series models earphones feature. These earbuds are not exactly the best you can find around and they do a reasonably good job but they do feel a bit cheap and soft. If you don't like the feel of the silicon earbuds you can always uh, upgrade them to memory foam earbuds or better ones, better silicon ones. Uh, personally I do not like the don't quite like the, f the shape of the ZS5 because it is um, it features many sharp edges and it does feel less comfortable compared to the earlier ZS-T and the ZS-3 because the ZS-T here has a organic shape so it does feel more comfortable than the ZS-5 and the 6 and but then again I guess that might be due to personal preference the ZS5 features a closed chamber design, by that I mean there is no ventilation vent, uh, vents for the air pressure to, re to be released. There is a small vent here, a really tiny vent, but that's not really enough to let the air pressure go out. And ZS6 actually has an open design featuring two, uh, a series of vents at the back, while the ZS5 does not feature any vents at all. And the ZS5 also features a plastic chamber. As mentioned earlier, this is a quad driver earphone. So the ZS5 has two dynamic drives and two balanced armatures. One armature is located near the nozzle somewhere here and another one inside the chamber. While the two dynamic drives drivers are located inside the chamber itself uh, with one dynamic driver being bigger than the other. And if you're not if you're not familiar with quad uh, hybrid design earphones or quad driver earphones, the, these earphones provide better frequency coverage uh, in, term, in terms of clarity from low frequencies to high frequencies. The balanced armatures handle frequencies in the, low, in the high range, which means uh, high pitched frequencies like cymbals. The dynamic drivers handle the mid range and the low range frequencies. So sounds such as a deep punchy bass or drums and you know low frequencies and all that are handled by the bigger balance um, um, bal dynamic drive. When it comes to audio performance the Zek S5 is one of the best performing earphones in the Zek uh, KZX Zek series range. It really depends on personal preference. I feel that the Zek S6 is actually better than the Zek S5 by a slight slightly small margin. The ZS5 is definitely clearer than the ZST because of the two balanced armatures. Because of the closed chamber design, the ZS5 does sound a little bit muffled, and I believe that is because the um, audio pressure, the pressure generated by the sounds, cannot really. I mean, if it, the pressure is too high, it doesn't get released from the chamber because of this closed design. And for that reason, I think the Zek S6 has better audio quality because of the vent vents that allows the pressure to release, the air pressure inside to be released out when it gets too high. And for that reason, the Zek S5 has high mic frequencies that sound a little bit muffled. The high to medium frequencies sound a little bit muffled. Um, not that bad, but a little bit muffled compared to the Zek S6. And another reason why you want to be you want to purchase these earphones uh, as is because KZ Zack series earphones have detachable wires, so you can always upgrade these wires to better performing wires. 
Over here I have the KZAC uh, silver plated wires that are better performing than the standard ones. Besides upgrading the wires, you can also upgrade the earbuds as I mentioned earlier. Here are some KZAC memory foam earbuds. They are available in three sizes. They are also earbuds from other brands. These ones seem to be work, uh, working pretty fine for me. And for those who want to go wireless, the ZEC S5 and as well as other ZEC series earphones can always be upgraded with the Bluetooth module. Here I have the Bluetooth module, so all you need to do ju is just uh, unplug the, detach the wires from the earphones and just plug this uh, two pin connectors in and you're, get, you're getting a, you'll transform your ZEC S5 into a Bluetooth headset. So currently the ZEC S5 is retailing for about $25 at popular websites such as Gearbest and Banggood and it is significantly cheaper than the, the newer ZEC S6 which costs about $40. Occasionally when there are sales you can get the ZEC S6 cheaper but normally it sells for about $40 so the ZEC S5 is, uh, provides great value it, for your money if you want something that sounds reasonably good and affordable the ZEC S5 is a um, very good op option to consider. It does cost more than the ZEC S3 and the ZEC S T but at $25 you really get a lot of uh, all the goodness with this thing. Another thing I forgot to mention earlier is the ZEC S5 features over the ear wires that you need to loop over your ears in order to let it sit properly. Um, it, this is a design that I'm fine with. I'm comfortable with this design approach, but for some people who are wearing eye, eyewear, eyeglasses, reading glasses or sunglasses, they might find this design a bit problematic because these uh, the hard the wires at the top here tend to get in the way with the uh, the frame of your glasses and all that so if you're someone who wears glasses the ZEC S5 may not be that comfortable and before I conclude this uh, video review I would like to point out about the weaknesses and flaws on the ZEC S5 um, the most obvious flaw I can see is the, the detachable wires are actually not very well designed because when they are new they are quite tight but if you remove the wires quite re uh, regularly and all that it become they become loose as you can see here I, I only need a little bit of pressure to detach it and <clears throat> this is a big problem because when I when I'm sleep uh, lying down on the bed or sofa and I move around a bit then the, the wires tend to come off by themselves so KZAC really needs to improve on this design and make the the wire fit in tighter. Maybe make it make make the um, cavity deeper so that the plastic, the black plastic here has more grip while it's inside. So at the moment, it is uh, the biggest flaw that I can think of on the ZAC series earphones that have detachable wires. And when I've attached these um, these chambers to the upgraded uh, silver wires they do not they do not really um, sit in properly so the contact point really needs to be uh, widened and there should be more contact point between the wire pins and the chamber to provide a better grip so this is a bit disappointing because the ZAC S5 is actually a very good pair of earphones and to have it, to have such a flaw is really unacceptable. I guess the only way to solve the problem is to actually come up with some kind of DIY solution. I'm not really sure how to overcome this, uh, overcome this problem. So if any one of you know how to solve this uh, detaching wires, the problem is affecting detaching the, the detachable wires, please leave a comment in the below. And so that concludes my review of the ZEC S6, ZEC S5, sorry. I hope I've covered everything you need to know about the ZEC S5. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this. So till the next video, I'll see you again. Goodbye.